Good morning, kids. Hi. I'm Hermione. Hold on. Hey. Yeah. Woo woo. Morning. Oh, stretch a little bit. There you go. Does that feel better? I think I have the gate closed though. I'm not gonna go far. I know. I know I told you it wasn't open. I'll get there, hold on. You ready? All right, come on. I'll let you out. this up you guys probably can't hear it but i'm gonna do like an alarm right now because i hear a hawk whistling and don't laugh at me pansy what are you doing this right here is a clematis it's actually two clematises and my rule of thumb with my perennial gardens is if I have to pay a lot of attention to it, no, I don't have time to play with the uh, perennials when uh, it's hot summer, everything. You're lucky if I pull weeds and they have to be pretty. They have to have a show. That's it gotta be pretty not a lot of attention so I got to yank this thing out I kind of clipped it it's got one of those iron hooks and I'm gonna rip it out I'm gonna be like Ooh. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean some plants that I just don't have to babysit and they just look gorgeous all the, all the time. This is Gold Mound Spirea and it stays in this mound shape without me doing really anything. The only thing I do is in the spring I just kind of look at it and see what's dead and clip it out. The other one that I love, actually there's like three I'm going to show you today is the sedum and i can't remember the name of it but it's fire something it's like an old one this thing comes up early spring you can see them coming up and then soon it is going to flower with this beautiful kind of reddish flowers this is a limelight hydrangea and i gotta tell you guys it's in its third year but literally the first year it grew like four feet and it was only maybe like a foot tall when I got it. Just maybe like a one pound bucket. And I love it. And it starts off with these beautiful like greenish flowers and then they do turn white, but it just is so pretty. Actually, I'm gonna add one more. This is a variegated, variegated elderberry. And this is another one, you guys, that just, like this is three years old. And it's gotta be at least, I am five foot six. It's gotta be at least 10 to 12 feet tall. And it's only third year, only third year. 
and it is humongous it's elderberry and the black leaf the black lace one I have behind it they bloom on old wood so they're gonna bloom on what they grew last year and silly me I keep trimming it in the spring so I'm cutting off everything that would bloom so next year I'm not gonna do that so for this to bloom it has to have this black lace elderberry and this is struggling a little bit and I may have to move it next spring where it gets a lot more sun but for this one to bloom that one has to be like 50 feet near it and I did the same thing with this and very little flowers like I think one or two so I won't be doing that next spring I don't think I ever knew that you can tell what a chicken wants and what's going on by the sound they're making. <clears throat> she wanted out. <laughs> hey. Come here. She's so hot under me. She's like so hot. And that's why I'm trying to break her. And like her belly has no feathers. It's just too hot for them. So, no. Come on, baby. Ooh. I know. You hate it when I pick you up. Jeez, four today. That Oh, five today. Because there's this one over here. Okay. Do I have pockets? <sighs> nope. I forgot to let Freddy out. <laughs> yep, we still have him. Still trying to find a home for him. Cindy Lou, you were waiting for that, weren't you? See, I could tell she was a little upset. It's, it's starting to rain again. It stopped for a minute and I thought I'd be safe. And no. Nope. In the last few days, it's not just nice sprinkles. It just opens up and pours. So I don't want to get across the yard for this next project and just get soaked. I suppose I can, right? Why am I worried about, well, my phone. But why am I worried about the rain? Really, we should dance in the rain more, shouldn't we? In my last video, I talked about how this had all overgrown in the last like six years since we... Hey! Ugh. The geese are going after the girls. No! Oh yeah, I'm after you guys now. Naughty, naughty. And I know it was you, Snowflake. You are a naughty girl. Come on, out of here. Get, 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 get. Run, 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 run. <sighs> I'm sorry, Iko, such a bad mommy. Okay. I forgot to put up the gate that allows the silkies to go in, but keeps the geese out. The geese know that they can get to the silkies when they are in this little coop. In my last video, I was talking to you guys about how we cleared out this area when we cleared for the house. We wanted about, I don't know, we cleared maybe like a quarter acre when we built it. So everything that had been cleared, we didn't de-stump. So it all just grew. My project today is to clear this out a little bit more and pick one of the trees that will stay. Now another thing I need to add you guys is this is all ledge. This hump right here is all ledge. So I do have to take that into account. birch here I'm finding ash I'm finding oaks I haven't really found a maple yet 
what you're seeing here is that ledge I was talking to you guys about. And this is basically just rock. That's why I took a lot of the ones on the edge because there's just, they're growing between these huge rocks that I can see. Sorry, it's pouring off me. And so those were already leaning. I don't want those because eventually they'll just fall. These are river birch. And the majority, there are a couple of other ones, uh, other type here, but I just want to keep the birch. Birch Boone Farm, right? I need more birch. A lot of the birch that was here before we uh, came, because this was all forest, they only have canopy at the top and basically they're all dying. I need some more birch. <sighs> so there are two right here that are like single. This one right here, this one right here is growing out of a stump and there are four growing out of that stump. Normally I would think I don't want four plants, four trees on, you know, all together because they're fighting for um, nutrients, but they're growing out of a stump and that stump and those roots are probably, I'm assuming enough to support all of those. And when you see these type of birches in people's gardens and yards, they're gorgeous when they have like a few growing as opposed to just one big one. So I'm leaning towards this one. Now this area has a lot more um, dirt on top. I'm not seeing like the boulders that I see on this side. And this side is a uh, visible ledge. Sorry, I'm gonna do that the whole time, just pouring down my face. Um, so I think this here might be the better of the options and the prettier of the options. If I leave the ones out back here, our septic is the mound that the greenhouse is on. So I don't really want to put trees closer to that because I don't want it to damage it. So I would rather be up here a little bit. So my first thought, and I'm going to do a little bit of research, is to take everything out except this quadruple one. And then I think I'll be okay. But it looks like I have another... 15 to 20 saplings behind this, but I'm stopping for the day. I'm going to go get some water. That's it for today, guys. We really appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once without thinking twice? And I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. Stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my